warm welcome to this, the final episode of the Match Highlights Show for this season from Lisburn to Sully Television. On today's show we'll be featuring highlights from Lisburn to Sully's final match of the season, which saw them travel to take on Myola Park and watch out for a very special goal in these highlights. Later on in the episode we'll also be hearing from the final winner of the Eklund Villa Stullery Player of the Month for this season, but before that let's go straight over to Mill Meadow in Castle Dawson for the match highlights from last Friday's game. So what a great way to end the season in. Three points and a cracking goal from Alan McMurtry to end our campaign on a high. Looking now at the final table we can see the Whites finished in fourth place in 48 points and interesting enough that same tally of points would have taken us into the playoffs last season. 
The other interesting point to note is that during the season, De Stully had defeated every other side in the Premier Intermediate League on at least one occasion. So we'll certainly be going into next season fearing no one. Next up on the show, we're handing over to David Hunter, who on Friday night caught up with the Ecklenville Distillery Player of the Month for April. Not surprisingly, the winner this time is Matthew Ferguson, who has capped off a fine season not only by winning another Player of the Month award, but also by being nominated for the Premier Intermediate League Player of the Season, the results of which will be announced this week. Here's what Matthew had to say when David caught up. Hello again everyone, it's the final match of the season here at Mill Meadow in Castle Dawson and it is also the final monthly award in relation to the Eckenville Distillery Player of the Month. This month the award for April 2018 went to Matthew Ferguson. Matthew, third time we've had this conversation, you were explaining to me there a few minutes ago you have a thick lip, you got a whack in the face tonight but you must be happy to get another award. Ah, well, yeah. You take anything on the pitch as long as you're seeing getting feed points and uh, on a personal note, getting back on the score sheet again. Um, to be honest, like you say, is there the, the third time when it. It's a great achievement for me because I, I feel like I've had a, a great year um, as well as others. Uh, we, uh, Al McMurray, me too there, had another great month and uh, I think I just pipped them. But um, other than that, there are, if you've got... Three three players contending for the, the player of the month, then your your team's doing you're doing really. But I'm I have to say I'm I'm pleased that I got the third. It was a very close month. Seven games, uh, an unbelievable amount at this stage of the season. That's the way it goes. But three points separated the top four. Matthew coming out on top. It is his third award of the season. Aaron Harris has won three, but the way the system is weighted, it's still anybody's. Uh, bottle up for grabs. Um, to finish with, I'd like to thank uh, Shane Branoff and his team down at the Eckham Mill Distillery. They have supported us magnificently this season. And in a matter of a few weeks' time, Matthew's name will be in the hat along with a number of others with this little beauty up for the winner. It's a bottle, an award winning bottle of Dunville's PX Whiskey. Matthew, it is the final game of the season. Uh, just to finish with, um, a quick summary on what it's meant to you this year. Uh, to be fair, uh, I've, I've enjoyed every minute of it. The ups and downs, uh, you have to take it all in, in football. But again, I think uh, with the boys who were here last year and the new boys that come in this season, it was a, a, a great season from progression. And to be fair, I think that uh, we've done very well this year. Unfortunately, just missing out in the playoffs. But all being well, uh, we'll be back at it again next year. And we'll see how things go. Okay. Matthew, thank you. And thank you once again to all our friends at the Agnaville Distillery. So that brings us to the end of the final match highlight show for the season. However, we still hope to have at least one more episode of LDTV as we conclude the season with our annual awards of presentations. These will be happening on Friday 18th of May and if you haven't already got your ticket for that one, I suggest you get one quickly before they sell out completely. In closing, can I extend my personal thanks to everyone who has helped out on the match highlight show this season, to Michael McDonald for his great video work and editing, to my co-host Maeve Brennan, Lydia Campbell, Joyce Bunting and Johnny Miller, and most importantly to you, the viewer, for your continued support of the show. I'm Colin Hopkins, and until the next time, come on you whites! <laughs> <laughs>